Hey all here OS Reviews. So over the past few months, we've checked out a number of modular smart lighting products. Hexagon tiles have been very popular lately, but finally today we're taking a look at one of the OGs in this space, the Nanoleaf Shapes. And Nanoleaf, of course, is the company that really started this entire trend. Alternatives have often advertised how they're cheaper, but in a way you get what you pay for because the original Nanoleaf shapes do have features which the other models can't really imitate, including touch sensitivity. So you have the ability to gently tap on the tiles to turn them on or off and control them, which is not a feature found on any of the other versions that we've seen. Plus, they do have the widest catalog in terms of support of these different shapes. So it's called shapes because it not only comes in this hexagon form factor that we see here, but they also make a triangle tile variant, and they're all fully interchangeable with one another. So you can create more intricate patterns, very dazzling in terms of the infinite possibilities you can create, like 10 grams, and to decorate rooms and walls as you see fit. Very modern looking touch. You can even connect the panels across two walls to make it look even more interesting. One other thing to keep in mind is actually the nano leaves are the biggest in terms of surface area out of the variants that we've seen. This is not really something that is obvious looking at just the design and shape from afar, but I think it will become much more clear when we do a quick size comparison later on. And although we do have the standard edition here today, which comes in a starter kit of seven tiles, they also come with other textured versions as well, which makes it look more like wood, uh, other textures which can blend in to certain environments. Again, in terms of their starter kits, you can also pick between the other shapes as well. You can also find extension packs like this, which I've picked triangles, just to go with the entire idea of how the shapes are interchangeable with one another. We can then flip open to have access to a quick user guide, as well as a more detailed kind of colored guide as well that shares some of the different uh, options that you can try and build. We've also got additional 3M sticky tapes for you to attach this onto the wall, and they should be also removable without leaving any damage. Uh, and otherwise, we have just the tile lights themselves stacked on top of one another. They are kind of matte in terms of their textures. So the light is diffused. Apply pressure for 30 seconds when you are first installing them to make sure that they are tightly attached to the wall. And otherwise, on the back here, again, they are connected using these modular pins to one another to hook them up. On the side of the box, we have access to all the links. So this is how you actually pop the two tiles together. So one side will go into one light and the other one will go into the next connecting piece. And then finally, at the very bottom, you'll find access to the power adapter, which is actually quite large, but it will work with all of these extensions and ensure that you have sufficient power for all of these lights. And the actual adapter tip can be removed to whatever country or region that you're in. And then last but not least, there is this little adapter piece which you can attach onto one of the tiles and acts as a mini remote of sorts. So it's gonna be linked up, but you are able to tap on this to turn the lights on or off without using Voice Assistant or the Companion app, which is a pretty neat idea. Already sets it apart, I have to say, from the Go the motif hexas, which don't come with any remote functionality, so you have to use the app. So the triangle-shaped expansion packs, very similar, but again, obviously now we have triangles instead of hexagons. Expansion packs, though, will not come with another power supply. Slogan here being discover limitless lighting with even more shapes, this time focusing on all the triangle-shaped patterns which you can create, which are a little bit more ornate. We'll also see this in person in a moment, but here's just a quick spec sheet comparison between the two hexagons with the Govi Glide hexas. Uh, so again, the size difference. The nano leaves actually are nine inches uh, by eight inches in terms of their dimensions, and then the Govis are six inches by seven inches, meaning that if you're covering a larger surface, you need technically less of these tiles. Uh, so that is one thing that you don't really see just by looking at the design alone. And then that's even more dramatic compared to the smaller desktop size lamps that we've seen, like the Colo lights, uh, which actually sell for a similar price and have similar tricks, but you can just tell right here immediately the huge difference there in terms of the form factor, and it's pretty ridiculous. So uh, if you're using the color light, you'll have to buy a lot more expansion packs to achieve that. And in the end, the cost might be even more expensive. So don't be fooled by looking at just the design alone, which might be similar, but make sure you read the fine print. So now these are the Govi motif hexas. And again, this is the nano leaf. So you can tell the size difference once again between uh, the tile sizes. So this essentially covers the entire thing up, almost is the size of uh, almost one and a half of the 
Govi tiles, I would say. And then really the same thing can be said about the triangle-shaped tiles from Nanoleaf as well. They are considerably larger. We're going to open up the app, which is also used to control and set up their other products as well. But for us, it's going to be the shapes. So we'll take a few minutes to actually pop onto the walls. So we're going to prepare our surface or wall to make sure it's free from any dust. So there we go. We have the sticky tape attached to the middle as well as, again, the power adapter and also the controller unit here attached onto the side, plus some extra pieces for the next tiles that you want to connect to. And afterwards, you can then connect the next panel, again, remembering to pop on the connectors before you press it onto the wall one piece at a time. A jump cut later after just popping on these tiles, you can see it's starting to initiate go through some of the glowing patterns and the control panel there is also starting to flash and looks like there's actually three options to pair. But maybe the fastest one if your phone has NFC is actually being able to tap the phone onto the controller section on the side there to just pair. So right now it's in the music reactive mode using the microphones built onto the controller and it is definitely very dazzling to look at the huge surface area of these shapes. Uh, definitely makes the effect much more dramatic. The touch sensitivity really does work. So you're able to kind of interact with the panels just by gently tapping on them, as you can see. And the overall process is pretty responsive in terms of the sensor on all of the individual tiles. And I can use gestures like swiping over to go and change into the next animation mode. This is something that you can set up using the companion app. So you can program to do different things. If you don't want to change colors, you can instead use the swipe gestures to change brightness. So for instance, on our companion app, we can actually go over to the touch gestures. And as you can see there right now, we have to swipe up and down to go through different brightness or previous color scene effects, but this can all be customized, uh, which is very neat. There's also a auto brightness mode, which uses a proximity light sensor to change the brightness automatically. Just like most of the other modular wall lights, it is quite slim. It doesn't really protrude from the wall either and looks quite sleek. Uh, as well as just a very modern touch in terms of the effect that it produces. It is worth noting though that the shape here, it's kind of peculiar because even though yes it is a hexagon, it has slightly rounded corners on some of the edges. Overall I do like the way that it looks, uh, but this can depend on personal preference. Uh, so it does have a little bit of a cutoff at the seams, but it still looks very kind of cute and attractive in my opinion. You can also see how the app has recognized the layout that I've used for the tiles automatically. So it's detected that after I just popped them onto the wall. So very smart. And the same app can be used to control many of these lights, even across different rooms. So if you're trying to configure and troubleshoot, you can also tab on kind of identify to figure out which particular light you are currently paired to and trying to control. We can of course take a look at what is the current mode that we're in. It's called Coca Beach. So it has these kind of muted colors going on. We have the auto brightness. And by the way, at the maximum kind of brightness level, these tiles are extremely bright that you can use to do work, uh, get some reading done if you're in the white light mode. And we can also check out some of the other effects as well. There's a warm white color that we can try out. You can favorite these to save them and uh, more easily access. Here is a daylight color, which is just a natural white light. Another reading light, which is slightly warmer. Here's one called Beat Drop, which is a little bit more animated in terms of their colors. Now, one thing I will say is technically the technology in these are RGBW lights. So you have 16 million colors that you can customize for every single tile, and they can transition to give you this interesting effect. But the lights themselves are not RGBIC. And that simply means that at once, each tile will display essentially one color, uh, but because they are linked to one another, they can kind of flash and transition to still give you a very convincing, beautiful effect. You can also choose a playlist, which will automatically rotate through the different scene effects, by itself, create a wholly customized effect based on whatever pattern you prefer. So I can actually go and change the color temperature of all the lights, as you can see there, and it's overall working pretty well as expected. You also are able to change the color temperature, the warmth, the coldness of the colors. Back onto the main menu, we're also able to take a look at Discover, which is essentially other presets and options that folks in the community have created and shared. So you can download additional scenes and push them over. Netflix and chill, soothing stars, ocean, flashing light, all of this can be tried out. So you can definitely expand on the selection of the um, options that you have via this community tab, which is pretty neat. And finally, under Explore, you're also able to check out other designs and overall forms that people have shared in terms of how they've set up their creations. You can use inspiration here to pick up additional panels and also create those shapes as well as integrate with the other smart assistants to more easily control the lights. 
We also have a schedule tab, which allows us to automate the lights so they will turn on at a certain time during the day. So anyways, you can check out more details if you're interested. Extremely cool modular wall lights. These have been the classic, but still very relevant and beautiful looking nano leaf shapes.